hi y'all so i'm back with another video um in this video i'm going to expose myself so in my last video i pretty much exposed some youtubers and you know it's not really fair for me to expose them and also if anybody exposes me i want it to be me so hi guys that's what this video is about um i'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it so if you guessed it this is a get to know me tag i literally am so grateful for the number of people who have watched my videos who like my videos who dislike my videos i really am grateful to everybody who has taken the time to sit down and look at even one minute of me talking because I am a chatty patty. <laughs> so I know I was talking too much, but you know, it's actually something I'm passionate about. I am actually an introvert by nature, but if I'm by myself, like I can literally sit here and do this all day. So I actually am so grateful that people took the time to sit and hear what I had to say, um, even if they didn't agree. Um, but hopefully um, you guys will keep tuning in and you know we can just grow this channel together okay so yeah since you guys helped me to um reach a subscriber milestone within the last week i'm gonna go ahead and um do a get to know me tag okay so i'm actually so nervous to do this because i'm so i feel like i'm super duper private like i have never even shared a guy on my instagram like i've never put a guy's face on my instagram so i feel like i'm getting naked in front of everybody who's watching this video oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh i don't know what to tell what not to tell i'm getting nervous i'm starting to itch okay i gotta i just, I just gotta jump right into it all right so the first question is where did you grow up so i grew up in sumter south carolina um it's a really small rural town with an air force base shaw air force base um, nothing really to see there. That's where I grew up. Um, the next question is how tall are you? I am five feet, five and a half inches. That's what the doctor said. He said five, five and a half. That's what the doctor said. <laughs> I didn't make that up. So I'm five, six. I tell everyone I'm five, six. Um, dogs or cats is the next question. What about dogs or cats? Ew, neither. Anything that has more legs than me, besides a chair, I'm scared of it. So I don't want no dogs, I don't want no cats. Okay? Okay. <laughs> um, the next question is, are you in or have you gone to college? So I graduated from college with a Bachelor of Arts in Communication and a minor in Journalism. So that would slightly explain why I like doing YouTube. What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink of all drinks is simply lemonade raspberry. Oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> I felt that, I felt that. Cause I haven't had any in so long because this Rona is in town. So I've really just been drinking a lot of orange juice um, because you know, I'm trying to keep my immune system together. I'm trying to get the vitamins and the calcium and all that stuff in me, trying to get all these natural remedies. The next question is, what is your spirit animal and why? Say hello to the unicorn. <laughs> this is my this is my spirit animal, a unicorn. I am obsessed with unicorns and I know that they are fictional, but they're just my spirit animal. They are fictional, but they're my spirit animal. Like, I feel like I'm a dream too. I feel like I'm a dream. I'm a fantasy <laughs> site, but that's not the reason. <laughs> um, unicorns were built to stand out. They are not the standard. They are atypical. And that's what I feel like I am. Um, I'm a unicorn. Okay. Um, the next question is, what are your life goals? So my life goals are really to be successful no matter what I pursue. I feel like in this day and age, you know, when people are in their 20s, um, people are always saying, you know, 
you need to know what you're doing you're an adult now and you're you got all of this stuff and it's just like so much pressure for me to have a definitive life plan like my personality will not allow for it um i am someone who values you know being multifaceted like i am interested i can do a little bit of hair you might not be able to tell from this wig but it's my quarantine wig like i'm quarantined with my parents y'all <laughs> so and you can't get your hair done and your nails done and all that stuff so i can do hair a little bit i can hold a tune i can sing a little bit i find that i know to dance like i have instructed praise dance before um i like doing this whole youtube thing like i find so much value in being a multifaceted human being so i just want to be successful and no matter what i put my mind to and i want to be able to serve others like they have served me i want to be able to serve my mom and my dad in any way that they may need me to and i want to be able to be self-sufficient so that is my life goal it is very broad success um healthy it sounds really basic but these are things you need to put onto the universe yes. i want to be successful i want to be healthy those are goals of mine i want to see my grandchildren here like those are life goals for me and many people um they want to you know be married and have kids and all of that stuff and those are things that are part of my goal but the bigger goal is to be successful at any of it because you know it doesn't matter if you get married and you get divorced it doesn't matter if you fail at it you know what i'm saying so success is always my ultimate goal so the next thing they want to know is have any books changed your life so actually colliding with destiny i read it in 2019 it's by sarah jakes roberts um it basically talks about turning tragedies into triumphs and that book changed my perspective a lot so that's definitely a book that i would say has changed my life and i want to reread it now that i'm talking about it <laughs> um what is my favorite movie we are dream girls boys make it happy yeah yeah we are dream girls boys i can't dance but i can hold a note <laughs> so yeah dream girls is my favorite movie my dad always says that i burnt up the portable dvd player y'all remember those back in the day it was a little dvd player i used to watch that movie all the time like before i was going to school catching the bus dream girls would be playing <laughs> on the portable dvd player while i'm getting ready for school like i was obsessed um the next question how long was your longest relationship lord they nosy they nosy so the longest wu chow wasn't even a relationship it was a situation ship that went on too long like four years way too long um after year two, it was like really on off toxic. A mess is what it was. And thank God for growth is all I can say on that. Y'all, I'm still itching. <laughs> Do I have to answer more? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit more of me, okay? Just a little bit. Okay, so like I said, I'm still itching. Cause I don't know y'all like that. And I'm telling y'all stuff okay so the next question or statement i don't even know what it is it says describe your first crush i'm embarrassed okay so there's this guy and we used to go to the summer thing and he rode my bus and we would be on the bus for like two hours because my mom made me and my brother go there every single summer until we couldn't go anymore. And we would be on the bus for two hours and I would just like him for two hours for like five years. <laughs> that was my first crush. I liked him for like ever and ever. And nothing happened. That was my first crush. Um, the next question is what do I do on my free time? Well, seeing as I have a lot of quarantine, 
I've been YouTubing. Um, typically, I watch TV and more TV, some YouTube and more TV. I love TV. That's what I do in my free time. Um, the next question is, do I know my personality type? I've already touched on it. I've taken the personality quizzes. Um, you guys can do it too. Um, they have 16 personality types and I think there's Myers-Briggs testing, um, but I am INTP, I'm an introvert. Um, yeah, that's my um, personality type. Okay, so the next question is, what is your go-to fast food order? I mean, which fast food are we talking? Are we talking about Chick-fil-A? Because that is a six count nugget meal with fries, all barbecue sauce, small cookies and cream shake, no toppings. And sometimes with a side of lemonade with light ice. Um, if we're talking about Zaxby's, it's gonna be a boneless wings meal tongue torch, you know, with a pink lemonade. If we're talking about Chipotle, it's going to be a white rice steak bowl with cheese and lettuce. And that's it. Don't put none of that other stuff on my stuff. <laughs> Um, if we're talking about, you know, Bojangles, it's going to be a kid's leg meal. You know, I want a leg, hot fries, and once again, a pink lemonade. Baby girl, I'm very consistent. So I think y'all know enough about me right now. Like, I'm literally itching, itching. Y'all saw my necklace. It, it wasn't fastened. Don't come for me. Don't judge me. Judge your mommy. Don't judge the edges. I told y'all about the wig. It is my quarantine wig. Okay? Now y'all know too much now. So if anybody's feeling, you know, lovely, ask me for my cash app so you can buy me a Chick-fil-A, a Zaxby's, or a Bojangles meal or a Chipotle. You ask me for my cash app if y'all really, if y'all really mess with me like that. <laughs> okay, so really, um, like I said, that is the end because I have been itching this entire time. I am going to put my clothes back on and say bye, y'all. Um, the next question is who are my favorite YouTubers? So if you want to get the answer to that question, then you need to go ahead and go to my last video and you'll see who my favorite YouTubers are. So um, at the end of the day, that's pretty much all I have. Um, if you want a part two where I answer more questions, you can actually put some questions down in the comments below. I will also link the video about my favorite YouTubers down below. So that was my outro. That was my outro. Okay. All right. Bye.